Are you interested in getting into yoga because you know it has so many amazing benefits to offer, but you're not really that interested in doing downward dog? Or maybe you actually already do yoga, but you feel like you're not getting its benefits because maybe you're not flexible enough or you can't do headstand. Well, I'm gonna tell you that none of that stuff matters because actually you can be a really good yogi and get the benefits from yoga without doing any of the poses. In my next video, I'm gonna explain how. Hey there, I'm Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm talking about yoga because I believe that if you add this into your life, you will be happier. And you don't have to actually do any yoga poses to experience this. So maybe you don't feel like taking a yoga class because it seems boring, or maybe it seems like it's not a real workout, or maybe you're just not into it. It doesn't matter because to actually experience the benefits of yoga, you don't even need to put your yoga pants on because yoga is a lifestyle. It's a way of being and it doesn't require you to hold a pose for 15 breaths. Most of the yoga that we see on YouTube or that takes place in the studios, it's only one aspect of yoga. It's called asana, but really there are seven other aspects of yoga that you can practice. So I wanted to share this with you today so you can start getting the benefits of yoga even if you don't feel like doing it. And if you already do practice yoga, then I just want to remind you that there's so much more than what happens on the mat. Off the mat yoga is actually a really big thing. The teachers often in class will say, after you've been at it for an hour, they'll say something like, and I hope you can take this with you for the rest of the day, off the mat. And that's what I'm hoping to explain to you today, how you can get these benefits and take them with you into the rest of your day. So how do you do this? Get the benefits of yoga without actually doing the poses you practice the other aspects. I'm not gonna go into all the seven other limbs of yoga because that's a very studied, massive undertaking and I want this to be really simple so you can start getting these benefits like right now. So the first thing you can do is start to practice kindness or compassion. And it can be a small little thing, just like giving a few extra bucks to the person who serves you coffee or maybe you wanna hold the door for the person behind you or it can be maybe a little bit bigger and you can offer a sympathetic ear to your friend or maybe even you can be there for a stranger. And this is when it can get a little more challenging because sometimes a stranger or anyone might not be so nice and it's your job to still keep practicing the kindness and you want to do it from the heart because otherwise it's not really it doesn't really count as practicing kindness so like for example me like if I get really irritated if somebody cuts in front of me in line and I'm in a huge rush I might say something like to the person oh okay I see you're in a really big rush I'm gonna let you go ahead now and I say it in this kind of nasty tone trying to be nice or something, not really at all. Um, so anyways, that didn't count for my kindness practice of the day. That is not how you do it because it was not from the heart. So you wanna make sure that you're practicing your kindness and compassion and you want it to be genuine. The next thing you could do is breath control. This is called pranayama. I uh, don't actually mean you need to hold your breath, but in pranayama there is a ton of exercises that work with breath retention, but just to start out, it would be really good if you could just start focusing on your breath. So notice each inhale and exhale as you breathe and do this for several rounds. And I think this is gonna automatically calm your nervous system and it's going to help you relax. So if somebody does cut in line in front of you, you'll be able to deal with it a lot nicer. You'll be able to tap into your kindness. And lastly, self-awareness. This is about knowing and owning who you are. I am a huge journal person. I wake up every morning and I write in my journal. I have so many of these little books that are filled with messy scribble scrabble that I actually can't even really read anymore. So that's interesting because I can't really go back and look at them because I can't read them. But they're just filled with messiness and the messiness of my life. And while I'm doing it, because it's really about the process of knowing who I am and what I'm going through and reflection and it helps me. It helps me move through some of these dilemmas because the more that I know myself and what I'm dealing with, the better decisions I can make. When I can act from a place of knowing who I am, I know what to do next and I can take right action. So these are the things you can start doing to gain some of the benefits from yoga without actually doing any of the poses. I hope it inspired you to get started right now. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.